Welcome to the class. Today, let's learn about dockyard and also the administration of Indus Valley Civilization. So first, move to the dockyard. What is mean by dockyard? Dockyard is a place where the ships are built and repaired and the goods loaded and unloaded. So, dockyard is a place where ships are made as well as it, was, it is yet repaired and also uh, the place where the goods are loaded and unloaded. Clear? That is mean by dockyard. So, let's see where we, uh, we have found dockyard. So, dockyard is a, uh, a brick. Dockyard has been excavated at Lothar. Lothar Indus is a site of Indus Valley civilization and uh, uh, a brick dockyard. Dockyard which is, was made up of a brick was uh, excavated at where? From where? At the Lothar. The name of the site is uh, Lothar. Lothar. The next point we are keeping in mind that is uh, the dockyard was used for a birthing ships, in order to birth, in order to keep the uh, or ships. The dockyard was used as a birthing of a, uh, ships. And the next is the, the scholars. The scholars, uh, the historians believe that Lothar was a port for overseas trade, trade possibility with the Mesopotamia. So, uh, the historians or the scholars believe that uh, Lothar was a place where they used to have what overseas they used Lothar as a port, as a port, sea port for what? For a uh, making the trade, making the trade with the, with the Mesopotamia, with the Mesopotamia, the Lothar, they used that Lothar as a port or a exchange of things as a port. The next things we are giving and that we are to learn about administration, how, whether their administration was a well planned or not. So let's discuss. So first point that there is a strict uniformity in town planning, weights and measures and even in the size of the bricks. So it was a well planned. How can we suggest, how the studies suggest that uh, administration of industry was well planned. How the uniformity, uniformity, the uniformity, the strict uniformity, what is uniformity? Uniformity is uh, uh, to become something same. So, as we know that uh, we are having uniform in, in our school. So, for what? As a uniformity, not to make a uniformity because but to make a as a same group. So, all students will be having a same uniform. So, in order to make uh, everyone same as equal. So, here uh, the unim uniformity is in a town planning. In a town planning, over towns were same. The planning about that town was the same in every, every town. And uh, the weights and measures. The measurement and the weights were also the same in every town. Everywhere. So, and also, even in the size of uh, bricks, how they use the bricks we already learned. They use the uh, bricks in order to make the buildings. So, they made the buildings by using the bricks. So, the bricks, even the bricks, the small thing that is the bricks that we used for making the houses, those bricks also was having a uniformity. That also was uh, used. Same in a every town. The next, there is a. So, all these things there is a uh, town planning, weights, measures, as well as the 
size of the bricks, laid the sword, the administration of the Indus was a well administered, well planned. Then, next, however, uh, the available evidence does not show the cities were ruled by kings. So, available evidence, the evidence, the remains that we have from uh, uh, Indus Valley civilization from these sites where does not show that didn't show what the cities were ruled by kings. We don't have any evidence from uh, the city. Uh, city or from these uh, sites, we don't have any evidence to prove that uh, the cities were uh, ruled by kings. So it was not ruled by kings. Then how they were having such an administration? Let's see, that is next point. Each city was perhaps run by a committee consisting of priests and rich merchants. So how each city, we, uh, they are thinking or they got an idea that each city was uh, run or ruled or run by the committee or committee of a group of people. So they are having, including consisting who are the members of this uh, committee that is a uh, priest and uh, rich merchants. The priest, the high, that is we already learned the priest, who are the priest, those who uh, make the sacrifices and those who lead the people in a good way, good path, they are a priest and also rich merchants, those who are having the business. The rich merchants also were there in this committee. So through this committee only the uh, administration was uh, kept. Then looked after different tasks. So the, these committees were looked after different tasks. Each committee or each members of this uh, particular committee was having different tasks to do. So uh, we know that uh, in our school or wherever it is, there will be a committee and uh, each member should uh, give one, should be given a particular task to do. One person cannot have to do everything. So all things will be divided and distributed and different tasks will be done by different people so that the whole administration will be uh, in a good manner, will be done in a good manner. So how the collection of tasks we are having a one task of a people that is a collection of tasks and others we are doing maintenance of the law and order and uh, others, other people are having regular uh, regulation of a trade, regulation of a trade, uh, the dealing with the trade activities. So, like this, different people were having different tasks to do so that the whole administration will be good in advance. So, these are the few things we have to keep in mind when we are learning about Indus Valley Civilization and the, the, the uh, backyard and also the administration of Indus Valley Civilization. So, this is for today. Bye-bye.